just ready for the big city. Today, besides me promoting my show in Vegas, you know, Season Milan Unleashed, I also make sure that I brought Sofia, which is our new member of our pack, to make sure that they, they, I check on the trust and the uh, leadership that I, I, I should provide for her, which is direction and protection. As, as her first time in New York, she's doing fantastic. The smells of New York, hey, the side, what's up, man? The sounds of New York is completely new, different, it's, it's absolutely new. Unique. Look at our thousands, like hundreds of people. But everybody wants to take the dogs to the city. But before you bring a dog into the city, you have to have 100% uh, trust, 100% leadership. Remember, leadership is about direction and protection where your dogs feel protected to be in a brand new place. Sophia is from Puerto Rico. The only thing she knows is the ranch. The only thing she knows is Los Angeles, a much larger place. People don't really walk in the city as much. And here in New York, you see thousands of smells, the sight, the, the energy here. I mean, everything is bigger, you know? So uh, Sophia right now is in what I call a follower state. She's still exploring, as you can see. Her nose, her nose is what's moving the most, more than her eyes. I don't want her eyes to be occupied by things because that, that can make her excited. I don't, I don't want her ears to be occupied by the situation because that will make him nervous. So what I do want is for her to stay calm and for her to keep her nose engaged in the situation because I want her to have the most amazing time in New York. And I know everybody wants to take the dogs to the city and this is not just a city, this is New York City. Run you through the segment, how we have it laid out. Yeah. Um, and Sophia's with you? Yeah, she's with you. So excited. So you'll walk out with her? Can you carry her or you should just walk next to you? Yeah, Got it. So she'll walk next to you and yeah. then when you sit on the couch, will, she, will you bring her up on the couch with you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, whatever you want, really. Because I think the first question is basically tell us about Sophia. Mm -hmm. So you can tell a little bit about the story about. Because you rescued her, right? I rescued her, yeah. Uh, 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 you know. Ryan Gosselin and Eva Mendes wanted a dog, so I got Sophia first, and it was too little for them. Oh, God. So it. then my dog, Junior, ended up saying, can I keep her? I got her, I'll be back. Bye. Okay. If you can have food, like any kind of food, food? like that. Yeah. That's all. He's just feeling himself because he's 50. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That, that platinum uh, <laughs> color. Thank you guys. It's better and better every time. Thank you guys. Side. How, did, how did you end up? I know there were so many dogs rescued from Puerto Rico. How did you end up with the energy, specifically? The energy. Where so did you, you go to get her? Like, how did that all work? Well, you can go to any shelter on the, on the planet yeah. and you're always going to have like back of the pack dogs. Those are going to be a little bit more shy. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of, those are the ones people feel sorry for them. So they yeah. say, I want to get this one. But those are going to take a little longer. Yeah. This is the guys that are always like this. <laughs> so this is your happy go lucky. Yeah, this is the yeah. middle of the pack. And then you get the guys like this. So that's the front of the pack. You know what I mean? So this, he was quiet and then he bit somebody. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean? You know what I mean? So, so, so she people, was the life of the party. Middle of the pack dogs, mm -hmm. it's like your HR in the human world. I see. Those are the people that take care of the employees yeah. and the uh, bosses. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like they keep everything happy. So uh, middle of the pack dog, their job, the main job is to keep everybody happy. That's their job. So you, you, you don't just have to understand, uh, know what your dog is doing, you also have to know how you're reacting to the situation, yeah. you know? So crossing the street, who's really crossing the street? The human 
or the dog. And what is the energy of the human when it crosses the street? You know, is the human already anticipating something wrong? You know, is that human tense? Is that human fearful? Is that human anxious? So it's a lot of emotions that go through that human that also have to take in consideration in order for to help a dog. You understand? Yeah, so that's very important. You can't just leave it up to the dog and not really, uh, it's like whoever's driving the car is, is the one at fault. Yeah. <laughs> whoever's guiding the dog is the one at fault. So you could be guiding them through the city. One is a machine, and, but if, if a person is driving a car nervous, it's more likely to have an accident. If a human is guiding a dog nervous, it's more likely to have an accident. You get it? So you're guiding. But most people understand it in a car way, you know, because no, nobody wants angry drivers, nervous drivers. And dogs don't want tense, tense humans and nervous humans, but people don't see it that way because they say, well, I love my dog, but I'm nervous because that dog. Yeah. Well, I'm nervous because my what my dog did yesterday. So if she's a, if another dog approaches and she, in my case, he starts growling and goes because she's attacked dogs before. So yeah. now it's like a thing of like we're just afraid. But, of okay, her. so you have to avoid this. Right now you have to avoid this kind of meeting and you have to do this kind of meeting. More more walking together. Okay. You see what I mean? <laughs> so you create a, 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 a social interaction by walking did together. Yeah. Okay. Good. You create a social interaction by walking together mm -hmm. instead of face to face. That your dog that's, is not ready for that kind of socialization. Yeah. You know so I mean? we have to be like, uh, I'd be a barrier between her. And no, just walking together. together. Okay. It's not so much a. So you gotta eliminate this whole barrier thing and just put the dog in the situation so the dog learns to trust. Mm -hmm. The dog doesn't trust, right? So yeah. if you think as a barrier, that means you, you're thinking, how do I how do I keep myself not trusting? Yeah. But if you if you put yourself a guiding direction of protection, and then the dog has to say, well, I don't have I don't have to worry about what's gonna happen because she tells me what to do. his mission to educate the world about canines. Please give a warm welcome to Sophia the dog and the dog whisperer himself, Caesar Malone. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. You asking Joe about life at band? Uh, as a driver, you can ask uh, 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 advice. As a uh, uh, <laughs> Uncle Joe knows, has known for 30 years. We're gonna go and get some Claudio's pizza. This is one of my favorite places. The man is here! The man is here! Oh, look at this! The man oh, is here! Now you're gonna take your young slice off. Yes! Pizza yes. for everybody! Take your young slice. I'll burn your slice. I'll show you. Okay. You're gonna go. Don't go right there. Okay. You're going to run with Grace. Take him out with Grace. Grace, he goes in.
talk about this pizza. Well, uh, Joe, how do you make came to this pizza? Joe brought me here. Uh, yeah. Who brought us here? Me. I've been coming here for years. Oh. Well, that's how we got here. Ah, put it on. Yes. Okay, take the pizza. Alright, we're gonna sell more pizza, okay. then they're ready. No, 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 I don't want to. I'm too, too much already. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is rejecting money. Excuse me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna look. Sorry, Dad. Where's my spoon? He's walking your dog, Caesar. Yep. Don't call me a dog anymore. I'm a pizza. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Mario! <laughs> Name is Mario! <laughs> See, there's some. Yeah, some people say that you're the Michael Jordan of dogs, right? I am. Wow. I am the Michael Jordan of, of dogs. Wow. Just don't have the team yet. Wow. <laughs> Would you say that. This guy is gonna yeah. be the next Michael Jordan? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe Scotty. Probably Miguel for that. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good? Very good. Good to see you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Um, I worked with Red Man yeah. when he had Daddy. Um, and we Doing were... Doing what? What did you used to do with Red? Um, I used to work at MTV. Okay. So Red Man was doing the MTV Awards, and yeah. they put us in the same hotel. And Daddy was like running. He was a puppy then, yeah. and he was running up and down the hallway. And Red Man was just like letting him go loose. Yep. I'm so glad you got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got him. Yeah. <laughs> he was a mess. Ah, <laughs> uh, I never heard that story about Daddy. Right now, we are taking a 180 from politics and getting into something that'll make you feel good about being a human again. So the first time I, I, I met Cesar Milan, I'll be honest, I had seen a couple of episodes of The Dog Whisperer, but I didn't have a dog. I was a New Yorker. It was all cats for me. Uh, and I want to talk about cats because you never get asked about cats. But uh, I was doing a TV show in L.A. with Deborah Wilson of Mad TV. We were summoned to the compound in downtown L.A. And our camera and sound guy were terrified to walk into the compound because behind these chain link fences, were dozens and dozens and dozens of large barking dogs of many breeds, any one of which could be imposing. Dozens at a time were terrifying to our sound guy. And then suddenly the dogs parted like the Red Sea and the man walked through and that was Caesar Milan. The dogs became quiet. He came up to us, greeted us and said, listen, come in, just don't look the dogs in the face. And we walked in, we didn't look them in the eye. The dogs instantly calmed down and suddenly the entire crew was like, oh, this man is the real deal. And anyone who has ever attended one of his live shows knows he is the real deal. He has done a show that is a combination of lecture and then demonstration with local shelter dogs. He is a man who is frequently fond of saying that he doesn't train dogs, he trains people. He has worked to rehabilitate thousands of dogs, misguided dogs, through many innovative methods of training. It's a life-changing technique, and he makes people not just better dog friends and, and guardians, but I think better humans and better listeners as well. Caesar Milan will now be opening a brand new show, Caesar Milan, My Story Unleashed at MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. His immigrant story is a true American dream story. Caesar, welcome to Series Excellence. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for bringing that story back into my memory. It was incredible. Me. I was I was already a fan from TV, but when I saw your simple instruction for the last ten years of my life, anytime I've been in a difficult situation mm -hmm. with a pup, I don't make the eye contact mm -hmm. until they've calmed down, and then then they'll get it, and it's so consistent. Yeah, my formula is no touch, no talk, no eye contact. Right, so that way you are, the only thing you're presenting is calm energy and the smell of whatever you carry. And when you're presenting that calm, relaxed, but yeah. calm yeah. and yet and yet alert. That's just a good design for living. The energy you need to work with a dog is the energy you need to work through life. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And most importantly, thank you for helping me to achieve better humans, better planet. Yes, we can! <laughs>